Good morning guys, happy Saturday. It is currently 11.24. We are getting off to a late start because we went out last night. Um, and we are headed to a very yummy breakfast and that is Waffle House. Honestly, I haven't even seen these Waffle Houses, but I was like looking at breakfast places and Ryan was like, do you wanna go to Waffle House? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, do they have it here? Like, I literally have not seen it. If you're from Georgia, you know that they're literally on every freaking corner of like every street. So you can't miss them in Georgia, but I don't know. Like, I feel like they're hiding here. So I'm pumped because I haven't had this in so long and I've been just craving like a waffle or just something like sweet because usually I get like eggs benedicts, but I just really wanted like some good hash browns and chocolate chip waffles. But later today we are gonna go to a runner store, running store and get my feet and run looked at, I guess. Um, I have really bad shin splints and I just started Orange Theory for those of you who don't know and I need new shoes. It's so embarrassing because I've been saying that my Ultra Boost suck for running and like a lot of people said it's because they're flat and uh, they're like meant for weight training or something but everyone else was like, well, how long have you had them for? And I was like, I think I've had it for like two to three years. So that's really bad because they all said that I had to switch out my shoes every six, wait, not six months. Is it six months? Yeah. Are you You're serious? Wrong. That's crazy. And they're not like super cheap either. Ugh. But hopefully I'm gonna get some really nice ones. I knew I needed a pair of tennis shoes, but I kind of like held off because I was like, uh, I really don't want to like buy them. But now that I'm actually in the mindset of like going Orange Theory a lot, now I feel like I should definitely invest and I don't mind investing in them. Wait, have you heard of APL? Oh, they're like really, really trendy. I like honestly kind of want them because they have like really cool colors so I don't know we'll see like what they say and what they recommend um but I know a lot of like the runner shoes aren't very cute and aesthetically pleasing and I know that's probably like not something I should be thinking about so we just parked and we are about to go to what's it called fleet feet and we're gonna get me tested Hopefully I get some trendy shoes. machine. I thought I was going to have to run on a treadmill, but I guess it doesn't look like that, so I'm very excited. <laughs> Those are my feet, y'all. And this is so crazy, like that thing told it my size. Yeah, you're smart about that, so do I. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay, I'm going to do mine. Cool. Yeah, you should try it. You're a star. All right. Okay, hit that button. Great. Try to stay still for me. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna get the black, and these are Mizuno's, and I like them because they look like my Ultra Boost. I love black tennis shoes because they go with everything. So I'm excited. What? Oh, whoa. Do it again. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's super cool. So I purchased my shoes and now we are doing some Trader Joe's shopping while we're here in the complex and I think we're gonna get some flowers. Which ones? What do you think? These? I totally forgot that my favorite nuts are here. These are so good. One time I Amazon primed them because I didn't want to go to a Trader Joe's. So there's a whole Indian section. And so we just picked up some Pollock paneer. Um, that is like spinach and cheese and it's super, super good. Um, I think I've tried the butter chicken, but I'm like super picky with my butter chicken. So I don't really like trust these packages. Um, but then they have garlic naan, which is honestly pretty cheap because it's two bucks. Ooh, they have Thai stuff too, right? They have Penang curry. So we just got out of Trader Joe's and y'all are probably wondering like how me and Ryan 
split things financially so I thought I would just kind of share because I don't know if you guys have boyfriends or whatever um, but we did get a joint what was it credit card no, bank account, bank account? Checking. checking account so I have a debit card um, and he has a debit card and it goes to the same account um, that is the account that we pay bills out of so I can transfer my money from my own savings and um, checking account to this one checking account. So um, basically we pay for most of the groceries with that and just anything else like rent. eating out and stuff. What? Rent. Yeah, and rent. Um, but we use a credit card. We got the credit card together. Wait, what? I had a credit card, the gold card. Yeah. So we all, anything's for both of us. We put on that card. We pay the credit card off with a checking account. It's both of ours. This is both. all very confusing to me, honestly. Basically, I just I manage it kind of, so I just tell her how much money to put into the bank account every month. Yeah. It's usually about twelve hundred dollars per person per month. Mhm. Mm yeah, it pays the rent, bills, and everything else. Mhm. Mm I think maybe four. I think we did fourteen hundred actually. We had some leftover, so we'll see. Like if I wanted something at Trader Joe's and Brian wasn't going to eat it, I would just pay for it with my own um, card. And sometimes same thing like if he's gonna buy like beer that I will never touch like he's gonna buy that if I want white claws that he will never drink I pay for that so it's kind of just like I don't know common sense I guess um, but back to my shoes I'm excited that I got shoes and I'm excited to test them out on Monday from Orange Theory I learned a lot in there so I guess for shin splints you need the shoes to be really really cushiony so he specifically brought me out like cushioned shoes unfortunately the ones that he brought me out because I guess my feet are a little bit wider so it's like I don't know not as normal so they only had the gray and the wide and they had like black and stuff like that obviously i only wanted black because like i'm i'm a neutral kind of girl like i don't understand when it's people yeah okay basically he brought me out like colorful shoes and i was like i like neutral shoes aka black but you know what i meant like color gray is not colorful what they were like solid gray shoes no i know but when i was trying on when i said i like neutral ones. shows yeah I, yeah like i was trying on like some blue shoes and i'm like uh <laughs> so basically my size or like my width did not come in black so I ended up going for a narrower shoe but I couldn't really tell the difference honestly so I think it'll be fine the shoes were 160 but they had a price match so Ryan just pulled it up on his phone really quick and saved me eight bucks <laughs> so that covered our parking so my suspicions were correct actually I thought I had like, really weird feet and like, I confirmed it with a little machine <laughs> And he explained why loafers don't really fit me that well. That really high instep and thick ball of my feet is really wide. Mm -hmm. To where my toe, like where my toes bend, I guess. Like you know what I'm talking about, like my knuckles. Yeah. Like, but it came to my foot. It's really wide. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, like it's like really just a weird fit. It's like leather shoes like don't fit me well. That's I have to wear sad. like the Ultra Boost, like the best fitting shoes. <laughs> If you guys have a fleet feet around you, definitely recommend just going and getting yourself like checked out because their like scanning system is really freaking cool. Like it scans your whole foot in like literally five seconds and they can tell you all about your feet. So it was really interesting. So we were back home from Trader Joe's and the shoe store and we bought flowers. So I'm gonna try to put them in this vase. It's like a really small hole. I'm not sure if it's gonna work because this has like a lot of leaves and stuff, but we're gonna attempt. This was one of Ryan's old whiskey bottles, so I thought it'd look somewhat decent in it. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. Today, I am starting off the day by going to the farmer's market here in Texas, um, which is something I haven't done just yet. So I'm actually going with my friend, Nagin. She's also a YouTuber, so we kind of like met through Instagram, and then we found out we lived really close to each other. So we are just gonna carpool, and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna take photos. It's just always so nice to have another friend like be able to take photos of you and like want to do the same, like, you know, kind of like collaborate in that sense because Ryan's great at taking my pictures but like I guess there's no like benefit for you right um, I'm just wearing this pink salmon pink dress and I'm really happy because I feel pretty good in it which is very exciting like when I slipped it on and I was like ooh, like 
fits me nice. <laughs> so I have about like 10 more minutes, but I wanted to apply this thing. It's the um, Airbrush Legs Illuminator from Sally Hansen. And I mean, obviously you could probably put it anywhere else, like, but it's probably just, you know, made for your legs. I am actually gonna put it on my decolletage. <laughs> my decollete, I don't even know what it's called. This honestly makes such a big difference when you're taking photos, literally just adding a highlight to your collarbones and your uh, your shoulders. I'm gonna link this down below for you guys. This is what it looks like and it is in the color Golden Glow. I know there's uh, two different colors, but I like the golden one better. So I'm here with Nikine. Hi guys. And we are at the farmer's market. First time for both of us and it just started raining, so. R.I.P. Yeah, to seriously. our outfits. I know, because it's really humid outside, and I feel like I haven't felt this humid, like, air in a while here in Texas, so. Of course, gonna... on the day, we try to take photos, but. <laughs> we're going to get some killer shots. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Yes. Keep the gram. Keep the gram. <laughs> Farmer's Market wasn't the best. No. Oh my god. <laughs> I've definitely been to nicer ones, if you guys know. Orlando ones are like super, super nice and like big and have so many vendors, but this one was just like more like on the small side and didn't yeah. really have that much to offer. So we kind of dipped. She got coffee, <laughs> but we are at South Congress now. We're going to go to Kendra Scott and maybe take some photos there, but just kind of like scope out South Congress because, oh my God, if you guys come to Austin, like South Congress is a must see because there's just so many picture picturesque places and like the around. And shops. Like yes. the cutest shops Very also. cute. I just got home and I had to put my hair like out of my face because it was so gross outside. It is so humid out today and it's not... A vibe obviously it's not the best feeling when you're taking photos and your face is sweating so but right now I think I'm gonna try to clean out my refrigerator and just kind of like organize it I haven't been the best about that and I don't really even know how to organize everything but I'm gonna try because right now it's kind of like a mess everything's everywhere and honestly now I understand why people have two fridges at least like when you have a house because it's nice to be able to separate like your alcohol from your food and just like have more space for your food because right now my fridge is pretty much filled with like white claws and stuff so this is what it currently looks like so hopefully i can do it a little bit better than this <laughs> all right we're gonna pause the fridge clean out because ryan just called me he said he's on his way over and we're gonna go get pokey i'm so freaking excited we're gonna go try malibu pokey and it's like this really trendy restaurant and I also love Pokey, so hopefully it's good. I've heard so many people recommend it. We just parked and we're gonna go to Malibu Pokey. We're literally at the same spot that we were at yesterday for feet, Fleet Feet, and we came upon this cheetah truck. Freaking wild. I guess people are really that into it, huh? It was really really yummy and it was so trendy and cute in there. It just made my day honestly So I'm gonna end the vlog here because I think I have so much content from yesterday and today That I don't need to make this vlog even longer than it is. We're probably gonna go to Walmart tonight and grocery shop We're gonna try to eat really clean this week and hopefully in combination with Orange Theory I'll maybe lose a couple pounds. So pray for me <laughs> I'm excited to try my new shoes out tomorrow at Orange Theory too. I forgot about that um, but I will see y'all on my next vlog. Bye!